good morning dear students so let us continue with the chapter on indices so today we will learn about division of indices with the same base okay so let's see this example first 6 raised to 4 divided by 6 square is equal to question mark so here let us write in this form 6 raised to 4 divided by 6 raised to 2 so that is equal to 6 raised to 4 means 6 into 6 into 6 into 6 upon 6 into 6. So here we know that 6 on the 6 we can cancel like this. 2 6's will get cancelled. Balance is 6 into 6. See these two are the remaining. So 6 into 6 means 6 square. Therefore 6 raised to 4 divided by 6 square is equal to 6 raised to 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2 that is equal to 6 square which we have got it here. Did you understand how did we get this here 6 square? Okay yeah. Now similarly let's see the second example. Minus 2 raised to 5 divided by minus 2 raised to 3 is equal to question mark. So let's write it in the same form. Minus 2 raised to 5 upon minus 2 raised to 3 is equal to minus 2 into minus 2 into minus 2 into minus 2 into minus 2 upon minus 2 into minus 2 into minus 2. So here also we know that 2 ones are 2 that is minus 2 into 2 division sorry this and this gets cancelled and this and this gets cancelled any of the twos you can take. So balance is minus 2 into minus 2 so that is minus 2 square. Therefore, minus 2 raised to 5 divided by minus 2 raised to 3 is equal to minus 2 raised to 2. This we can write it like this also minus 2 raised to 5 minus 3 that is equal to minus 2 raised to 2. Okay, so we got it like this here. Similarly, how we got it here. Okay, so now I know that if A is any non-zero rational number, and m and n are positive integers. So this is m and n, okay, indices. That is, they are positive integer. And m is greater than n. See, this is m, this is n. m is greater than n. Then a raised to m upon a raised to n. See, this is a raised to m upon a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n. So this is one of the laws of indices. So you have to learn this also, right? I hope you have followed this. Next, what is the meaning of a raised to 0? So, if a is not equal to 0, then a raised to m upon a raised to m is equal to 1. How do we get that? Also, a raised to m upon a raised to m is equal to a raised to m minus m. Right? m minus m. That is equal to a raised to 0. And we know that a raised to 0 is equal to 1. So, got it. So, how do we get this? A raised to 0 is 1 and A raised to M upon M is also equal to 1. Okay. Now, let's see the meaning of A raised to uh, minus M. A raised to minus M is equal to A raised to minus M into 1. So, A raised to minus M is equal to 1 means what? What is A raised to M upon M? We have seen here. So, that is equal to a raised to minus m into a raised to m upon a raised to m. This one. So, that is equal to a raised to minus m plus m. See, a raised to minus m plus m upon a raised to m. So, a raised to m minus m. This is actually m minus m. Right? You can write this as m minus m. The same thing. The same thing. So, that is equal to 0. a raised to 0 upon a raised to m. That is equal to 1 upon a raised to m. a raised to 0 is equal to 1. We know that right here. So, a raised to 0 is 1 upon a raised to m. So, a raised to minus m is equal to 1 upon a raised to m. This is one formula you have to learn. That is a law. This one law. a raised to 0 is equal to 1. Next one is a raised to minus m is equal to 1 upon a raised to m. That is with the positive index you are writing. Let's see this here now. A raised to minus m is equal to 1 upon a raised to m. Therefore, a raised to minus 1 is equal to 1 upon a. Right? Like this only. Similarly, a into 1 upon a is equal to 1. Okay? So, therefore, this is a and this 1 upon a you can write as a raised to 
minus 1, isn't it? So that is equal to 1 because this is a raised to 1 minus 1. That is equal to a raised to 0. So that is equal to 1, right? So a raised to minus 1 is the multiplicative inverse of a. a raised to minus 1 is the multiplicative inverse of a. Got it? I am repeating it for you again. a raised to minus 1 is a multiplicative inverse of a. Thus, the multiplicative inverse of 5 upon 3 is 3 upon 5. Got it? Just invert the numerator and the denominator. Similarly here, if it is uh, with a negative index, 5 upon 3 raised to, the whole thing raised to minus 1. So, that is equal to 3 upon 5 raised to 1 it is. So, positive index. Okay? So, here, even if you invert the numerator and denominator, it becomes the multiplicative inverse. Okay. I hope you have followed this. Now, let us go to the next page. Okay. Now, let us see another example. Okay. So, here, let us consider this. 4 upon 7 raised to minus 3. So, we have to write the multiplicative inverse and see. So, 4 upon 7 raised to minus 3 means what? That is equal to 1 upon 4 upon 7 into 4 upon 7 into 4 upon 7. That is equal to 1 upon 64. How do you get the 64? 4 4s are 16. 16 4s are 64. And 7 into 7 into 7. 7 7 are 49. 49 into 7 is 343. So, multiplicative inverse like this will go in the numerator and this will remain in the denominator here. This Because this is 1 upon 64 upon 343. So, this will go up, this will come down. So, this is equal to 7 upon 4 raised to 3. Okay, got it. So, now I know that hence we get the rule that if A is not equal to 0, B is not equal to 0 and M is a positive integer, then a upon b raised to minus m is equal to b upon a raised to m. So, this is the multiplicative inverse. Just invert the numerator and the denominator. Now, let us see what rule we get by observing the following examples. So, this rule you have to study this rule also. A, 3 raised to 4 divided by 3 raised to 6 is equal to 3 upon 4 divided by 3 upon 6. So, again here. 3 raised to 4 means 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. 3 raised to 6 means 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 to 3. Again, here we can cancel here. Again, see. 1, 3, 1 are 3. Again, second, third, fourth. Now, balance is 2. So, is equal to 1 upon 3 square. So, therefore, 3 raised to 4 divided by 3 raised to 6 is equal to 3 raised to 4 minus 6. Now, minus 6 is greater than 4. So, Again, we subtract it and put the sign of the greater number. So, 3 raised to minus 2. Okay, understood. Now, again, second example. 3 upon 5 raised to 2 divided by 3 upon 5 raised to 5. Again, here, 3 raised to uh, 3 upon 5 raised to 2 is 3 upon 5 into 3 upon 5 divided by 3 upon 5 raised to 5. So, again, 5 times this. Again, here, let's cancel this. This 1's are, 1's are, 1's are, 1's are. What is balance? 1 upon 3 upon 5, 3 upon 5 into 3 upon 5. How many times is this? 3 times. So, 1 upon 3 upon 5, the whole thing raised to 3. Again, we get the formula accordingly. Therefore, 3 upon 5, the whole square divided by 3 upon 5 raised to 5 is equal to 3 upon 5. The whole thing raised to 2 minus 5. So, 5 minus 2 is 3. Sign of the greater number is minus. So, put minus 3. So, the answer is 3 upon 5, the whole thing raised to minus 3. So, another law we get of indices, if A is any natural, rational number and A is not equal to 0 and M and N are positive integers, then A raised to M upon A raised to N is equal to A raised to M minus N. Okay. So, let's learn. Observe what happens if the base is minus 1 and the index is a whole number. Now, if minus 1 raised to 6 means 6 times you are going to multiply this, right? Minus 1 into minus 1, minus 1 into minus 1, minus 1 into minus 1. 
So here let's form a pair. This minus into minus is plus. So 1. 1 to 1 the 1. Minus into minus is plus again into 1. Minus into 1. Uh, minus 1 into minus 1 is again 1. So 1 multiply 3 times. You get answers 1. Now if the power is odd here. Minus 1 raised to 5. So 5 times you are multiplying it. Right. So minus 1 into minus 1 is 1. Minus 1 into minus 1 is 1. Now minus 1 this is alone. So these both are positive. So minus into plus is minus. So get 1 into 1 into minus 1 is minus 1. So remember if, if m is an even number then minus 1 raised to m is 1. Remember you can underline this. If m is an even number then minus 1 raised to m is 1. And if m is an odd number then minus 1 the whole thing raised to m is minus 1. So it is negative part okay negative sorry uh, negative one okay remember this even and odd numbers now let us go to practice set 28 first one is simplify a raised to 6 divided by a raised to 4 let us see this now here let us see this problem a raised to 6 divided by a raised to 4 simplify means make it as simple as possible using the various laws of indices so this is equal to using the law a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n. So a raised to 6 minus 4 that is a square. Second, m raised to 5 divided by m raised to 8. So this is equal to m raised to 5 minus 8. That is equal to m raised to minus 3. Minus 8 plus 5 my m raised to minus 3. Third, p cube divided by p raised to 13. So, p raised to 3 minus 13 is equal to p raised to minus 10. Minus 13 plus 3. Okay. That is 13 minus 3 is 10 and sign of the bigger number is minus. So, we put that sign here. Similarly, the fourth one, x raised to 10 divided by x raised to 10. Now, both are same indices here. So, x raised to 10 minus 10. That is equal to x raised to 0. That is equal to 1. So, if we have used your various laws. So, these all four I have solved for you. Now, let us see the second one. Find the value of. So, here let's find the value of the various numbers. First one. Minus 7 raised to 12 divided by minus 7 raised to 12. So, minus 7 raised to 12 minus 12. That is minus 7 raised to 0. That is equal to 1. So, its value is 1. You have to find out the value of that number. Second, 7 raised to 5 divided by 7 raised to 3. That is equal to 7 raised to 5 minus 3. That is equal to 7 square. 7 square means 7 into 7. That is equal to 49. Got it? Now the third one, 4 upon 5 divided uh, raised to 3 divided by 4 upon 5 raised to 2. So this is equal to 4 upon 5 raised to 3 minus 2. That is equal to 4 upon 5 raised to 1. Raised to 1 means the same number. 4 upon 5. Last problem here. 4 raised to 7 divided by 4 raised to 5. That is equal to 4 raised to 7 minus 5. That is 4 square. So that is equal to 4 into 4. That is equal to 16. Now, let us see some extra problems here. Now here, suppose, let us take this problem here. First one here. Simplify for uh, minus 8 raised to 9 divided by minus 8 raised to 8. So we know here this is equal to minus 8. The whole thing raised to 9 minus 8. That is equal to minus 8 raised to 1. Got it? That is equal to 8. Minus 8. Understood? Raised to 1 means the same uh, number. Okay. Now second one is minus 4 raised to 5. Divided by minus 4 raised to 5. So this is minus 4 raised to 5 minus 5. That is equal to minus 4 raised to 0. And anything raised to 0 the value is 1. Right. So this will be equal to 1. Understood. So this will be equal to 1. Now next one, let us see here the third one, C upon D raised to 6 divided by C upon D raised to 4. So this will be 
c upon d the whole thing raised to 6 minus 4 that is equal to c upon d the whole thing raised to 2 okay got it i hope you have understood these extra problems now let us find the value of now suppose this is 3 raised to 8 divided by 3 raised to 5. This should be out. Yeah. So, this is equal to 3 raised to 8 minus 5. Got it? So, this is equal to 3 raised to 3. And what is 3 raised to 3? Actually, it is 3 into 3 into 3, which is equal to 3 3 is a 9, 9 3 is a 27. So, its value is 27. Another next one is 1 upon 5 raised to 4 divided by 1 upon 5 raised to 1. Uh, it's not written 1 but it's understood to be 1. So here it is 1 upon 5 raised to 4 minus 1. That is equal to 1 upon 5 raised to 3. Same way like this it is. So here it is you can write it or you can directly write the answer if you know it. Into 1 upon 5. So, you know, 1 into 1 into 1 is 1. Again, here, 5, 5 is a 25. 25, 5 is a 1, 25. So, I hope you have all followed these problems, this exercise. Now, we shall continue in the next video. Thank you.